Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, mothers, fathers, daughters, sons, brothers and sisters. This is episode 32 of KK Plays Dungeon Seeds. Now, at the end of the last episode, we crashed rather heavily. <clears throat> I've worked my way back to this point. The only thing I've done differently is I've accidentally aggroed the bandit boss. He's over there. Uh, I cleared out the boxes uh, up to here. Now, last time it was one of these boxes that caused the game to crash. Uh, but we will see how we get on this time. Uh, I've killed the same enemies. They have a little bit of uh, equipment differences, but very, very, very barely. Like, you know, a couple of little things like that appear. Um, and some things didn't appear this time they did last time. Yeah, stuff like that. So, <clears throat> I can't run through them because I can't really remember what they were. Uh, there were no massive differences. So, let's kill this bandit boss. Oh, good start. Some and, uh, get some then whoa, 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 whoa. Still counting. There we go, finally. Fourth right, fourth right shield. Hmm. Common heavy play. 210! It requires things strength 31. Blimey now, Spaz! He's only just gained 24! Uh, what? Strength 31 as well. Daring forthright shield of seasons. Now, with the exception of the range skill and one mana per hit, that's a damn good shield for a melee character. Very, very nice. And of course, oh, I keep doing that. No. Uh, press Q and everybody cycles on their weapons. Um, a J journal, yeah, of course. And of course, the confront the bandit boss quest is done. Oops. Let's hope I don't crash again. Seem okay this time. Come on, everybody, pick up the stuff. Quite a bit of gold here, <clears throat> as you would expect from a bandit hideout. An enchanted cudgel? Are you mad? Three to six. <laughs> three to six. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Getting gauntlets. Ooh, not bad. Same as those. No. No, stick with those. Not bad, though. Puncture. 48 to 58, so... There we look. Nope, not as good as that one. Oh, there is one difference. Both of my archers ended up with the same bow. Um, that one's not as good. 9 armor, 9 health, 19 mana, 1 melee skill. 1 melee skill! Uh, and a dexterity item. That's actually a strength, a dexterity item. Oh well, never mind. Nice. <laughs> well, the game looks happy to continue this time. Let's go. Let's go. I took exactly the same route, so everything that was dead last time should be dead again. Uh, and everything that was explored should broadly be explored again, so... Like last time, I came up to the fork in the road and turned right. There's all the Ted bandit bodies. Lovely. Oh yeah, that's the... Uh, there's well. the black wall. I'm not particularly dangerous. Oh. More. Eight eyes. Eight eyes on them? Yeah, I think so. Eight 
side pigs. Weirdest noise in the world. And down here is that? Nope. <coughs> More pigs. Oh, another Gorak. Oh, 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 that's bad. Having the Gorak kicking the mage, bad idea. We got stuck then. Mage character versus human pigs. Oh, let's just see how good it's helped. I am it. And it sure as hell worked the pigs. But, but this pig's hitting the casters and he's hitting Lauren and really still not doing much damage. Some of that stuff. There we go. Right. Fair enough. There's a pixie. That's a claw somewhere. There he is. No, whoever's attacking the pigs come off the light tray. Now, Lauren, what you do is get up. Ooh, that was a good uh, level up there by Critic. That happened at the right time. There's a lot of pigs around here. Uh oh. Yeah, that many war pigs will start to hurt. There we go. Well, they will start to hurt my castles. Oh, that's so my voice isn't as croaky as last time, even though I have just had a conflict. The one I did uh, <coughs> last time was a more uh, endurance. Longer commentary than normal. There's a nice run on stand effects. Dig. Okay. Another pixie over there. Oh, thank you, pixie. And a little rat. Oh, why are they going over Lara? Zed left him back at the camp. Merrick, I do apologize. I thought this path led back to where we'd already been. I thought so. Now I want to just double check. There's no chests or boxes or anything. So difficult to see through all the trees. But no, it doesn't seem to be. Adriel still doesn't have a hat. I'm actually surprised I haven't come across one. Anything up here? Hmm. This seems to be. I can't see through the trees. What do we have over this way? I honestly don't know. Wanted someone to have crossbows. 38 to 52, so the actual damage output numerically is lower, but it's faster attack speed. So each shot may be weaker in amount, in actual impact, but you see how quickly this thing fires. It's also been massive. Come on, let's go. We've got lots of archers hitting us. I don't know what that's going on. Get 
get up there quickly. Not bothered about that. Oh, that's bad news. Someone's gone after Merrick. Where is he? Right, get over here. Uh oh. That's very bad news. Uh, we're gonna have to come back to these guys. Right, you do battle healing on Merrick. Everyone else, please. Julia. Okay. I have to rely on health potions for a minute. Holy hell. Drink. Uh oh. That will be very bad if we lose both of our. If we lose both of our casters. We are in a deep le doo doo. Who's hitting Lauren? That's. That's the proper question. Right, he's gone, so there shouldn't... Oh, there's another one. <laughs> now Phaedria's down. We should be alright, just two out of Both of my archers are down. Okay, I need to wait for a minute. Let's pick that up. Oh, blubbing hell. Go. There's a bandit archer over there! Go. Lauren's nearly up. Right, you Laura. You Laura do. Oh, right. Okay. Brief setback. You should be good. Right, I'm going to have to set you to revive. This is why I always wanted two castles in the game. Oh, you come out. Drink. Right, bit of battle healing first. And then, and then revive Merrick. Great spell effect there. Right, put fire spray back there and mana charm there. Merrick, pick up everything that's nearby. You please and cast. Right, we're back again. Okay. First things first, where's that plate cap? Can Phaedrio use it? No, she can't. Right, you're fine. That answers that question. Next thing, here is white. Uh, I don't think I can do this. I'll try and show you how much quicker the... Right. Bang, bang, bang. That's what I'm on about. Rogue Bandit. If you look at the law, you can see how much slower she fires from the crossbow. That is precisely why I wanted a crossbow. Get the, get the archers, they're more dangerous. Well, it's certainly more dangerous per hit than not. Causing me more problems than the melee. Crap. Uh, here we go. Here's a perfect uh, use for Phaedriel. Also, the projectile is it's not instant. You can't really see the projectile, but it's much quicker than the the arrows are. So the overall damage is probably higher, I don't know the exact numbers, but the crossbows require typically a higher dexterity amount than the bows do. Yeah, 
So that is why I wanted someone in the first place. And now I do. So happy days. What are you doing in there, Phaedro? Uh, was it Phaedro? Stuck in there. It was you, Laura. I remember the church, the church or the cathedral, or whatever those being there, but I don't know that it has any particular relevance to anything other than just somewhere where some bandits can. That's a long way down. You can't go down there. Not as far as I know, anyway. You can't go up on the roof. No, you can't go up there. I'll go up there. I didn't think so. Right, that's this little area searched. Lovely little area. There's only one way in which is uh, defended from an aerial position, so strategically a pretty good outpost, that. Uh, and the problem is only one way out, so if they did get in as we did, they have nowhere to go. Don't mind trying again. Right, let's press on then. Oops. You guys ended up running backwards there. Huh? They, they didn't want to go down that tiny little slope there. Yay for pathfinding. Right. The downside of the oops of the crossbow is because I think the range is the same or comparable to bows, maybe a little bit shorter. But because the round is that much faster, it tends to hit the enemy before anyone else does. So, So it's the same. It's the same problem that the casters tend to have, where the, the ranged shots hit the enemy first, so the enemy goes after them before the melee characters get there. But it's happening to the archer instead of the caster. Focus. That occasion we all really have to be tough. And Rusk is just standing there. You know what, guy? You, you handle it. I'm fine. More bandits. We're all going to drop a grand each, then uh, happy days, but there's a lot of them over there. If I remember this correctly, we are about to get into the Eastern Swamp. <laughs> Again, that's Lauren. Yes. Oh, we've got a good archer. We're so gonna have to get down by him there. Oh, ouch. oh, damn it! Someone's near there. Turn that. Yeah, there you go. There was a bandit right by Lauren that I didn't spot. That's why uh, he died. There was another death we've had in this episode. That's exactly what I didn't want to do. Just yet. I'll see what I can do. Is get Z. <laughs> Merrick to uh, resurrect Lauren. There we go, he's back up again. So we can get him to. Oh, damn. Didn't mean to do it that way, I didn't mean to select everybody. But, oh, God, it's going to take a while now. i got to figure out where all of uh, Lauren's stuff's gone. Because everyone else has picked it up. Um, I think he had that one. Uh, give him those boots. He won't be able to wear anything else. Um, 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 uh, have you got anything good? Let's hand those down. Let's hand all the... What we'll do is we'll hand all of the stuff he could possibly use. A couple of mana potions. So we give Merrick another one as well, because one of these is running low. Uh, that hat. 
We won't have used that. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. Uh, that health potion's nearly dead for Phaedriel, so she's going to have a couple of those ones. You can, uh, one maiden skill. Uh, so that one, and that one. Where's your spell button? On? Pretty damn useless mage without it. Uh, found it yet. There it is. I think that was what Lauren was actually using. Uh, we'll send that down as well. Anything in here? I can't believe As you, you know what? You have it. <laughs> Why not? Uh, I'll send those down as well. I think that's everything. Oops. Uh, so, have that hat on. That armor on, that's much better. And those gloves, that spell book. Of course, you've already got a melee weapon, of course, you do. Right. As we were then. I think he hasn't retrieved his abode, which is not really all that dressed I think you just see them through all the, all the bushes and the trees. And the roses are the trees. Frozen wolf. It's very hard to fade you I think when an enemy gets frozen, their aggro resets. So as soon as they unfreeze, they need to be aggro. Lauren again. Why is it always Lauren? Why is it not Phaedriel whose round should be getting there before Lauren Fireballs? Let's do the gun on proximity. They have to see him first or something. Now, if, is it, if, blue, if this is the entrance to the east doing the whole left to right sweeping thing as I do will take a while because this area is pretty damn big and by the look of it, yeah, that's the eastern swamp up there. So we are reaching the next area. So I'm running this game called Dungeon Siege yet. We've spent more time above ground than ever. <laughs> The dungeons we have had so far have been pretty damn big for the most part. Okay, that's that area searched. And what we'll do Yeah, there we go. Just wanna kinda of get the surrounding area done. You can this is just visual effect. As far as I know, there's no damaging effect from standing in that. It's just kind of essentially just mist. But we are at the Eastern Swamp. And bearing in mind, we still haven't found Fortress Croft yet. We do find it. It's a damn long way from uh, where the overseer said. Oh, interesting. I don't remember this. What do we have here? Hmm. How strange. Just walk around the perimeter first of all. Peer over the wall. I have no recollection of this. None whatsoever, so I do not I genuinely don't know what this is. Other than a structure that's just cli <laughs> clipped out of existence there. Nothing around the outside of it. 
that. Oh. Uh, that's picturesque. I'll give you that. Lots of moss on the walls. <laughs> Some kind of garden? Whoa, truth. That actually made me jump. The Lost Witch. That... Oh my goodness me, that actually made me jump. So just summon it. Yeah. A swamp slinger. Ah, you do you will find those. Get off my caster. Okay, God, that actually made me jump. Oh yeah, I haven't turned the uh, label back on. Ooh. Scale boots. Point twenty-five. So only you can use the not not even you can use the hammer. Pathetic. Prime Brigadier. Point seventy-two. Strength fourteen. A little bit better of, but that could be good for you. Seven of Brilliant Prime Brigadier. Yeah, that's actually good for Fabriel. So hers is 63, that's 72. Seven armor, 15 health, 26 mana, is neither here nor there, but one rain skill. Fantastic. Pass that down to Eulora, who can use it. 63, that gets rid of that. And no, what's that? 41 could give Lauren with him Brigadine. 20 to mana, to be honest, he's still got over 300, even without that. Nothing really else. 15 health, and yeah, not here or there, even though you have already died. Ah, uh, you know what, I'm going to give that to Vadriel. Oh, I can't, because he hasn't got the intelligence. Before. Why do you need intelligence to wear a hat? Please answer me that. Peasant longbow. That was one of those. Marshall. The same stuff as that, so that's distinct. That's also brilliant. Defense 35, so we've already got better than that across the board. Okay, oh, a couple more. Head hammer. Nope. Raid not. One to melee, one percent chance of foot piercing hit, and four piercing damage, one to strength. Not bad buffs, but compared to the damage of other items, no. Ah, I'm going to give that to Phaedriel, because you can wear that. <laughs> Defense one, but you know what? At least it's a silly hat like everybody else. Another set of Prime Breed. That was defense 80. 7 to 1. Oh, brilliant. Stat, stat set again. Uh, well, everyone else has got. Well, you've got 100. I mean, you? That actually makes 60, 79. And that's 87 with exactly the same of everything else. So. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Brilliant. Like it. Glad I found this little alcove here. Oh, didn't spot those. Their gloves. Oh, come on, someone pick them up. Nice. Why? Again, for those nutcases that play without with one character. How on earth you play this game without having a party? I do not know. 
Wow, well that was a lovely haul. Oh, goodness me, I've just realised the uh, time has gone way over the uh, time I try and aim for. So that'll be it for this episode. I better delete some of those bottom ones. I'm not going backwards three hours. Oh, yes, something I did find out what the Fury Eye was for. Um, it's for a secret area within the game, the chicken level, which I won't be doing because I sold the Fury Eye. But you need the knife you start the game with, the Fury's Eye, and a book you find later on. And it's very, 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 very hard. So, no, I will not be doing that. But I will be saving this. And if my guys would stop, say thank you very much. Like and subscribe, all the good stuff. See you again soon. Goodbye.